and we were wowed by it. Someone just came up and said, I hope you guys got to see it too. <laughs> and, and we did. We made sure that we were watching it with you at home and with everyone outside watching it because it was a moment that we did not want to pass up. Yeah, a, a moment that really a history making moment mm -hmm. uh, here in uh, Beatrice. I mean, really, truly incredible. And to be able to be surrounded by so many people from all over the country, along with that, uh, even scientists. And uh, it was just, it was really, truly an amazing event to be a part of something like this. And as you said uh, earlier, which I thought was so great, is that when they were telling us glasses off, and glasses back on yeah. again that gave us the opportunity to kind of breathe and watch it and then eventually uh, start taking selfies and pictures and that kind right, of stuff. Right, but we actually were able to experience that moment and we heard about those oohs and ahs and those cheers and we heard them, I would say, almost slightly more here because we were dealing with the break in the clouds as this was happening. So every time the clouds broke and you saw it, everyone got extra excited. And we've been hearing the cheers when this was going on. Megan Hahn was actually out talking to people about what they experienced here in Beatrice. A jaw-dropping moment of awe. That's how many people here at the Homestead National Monument of America describe the moment of totality as thousands simultaneously look to the skies to catch a glimpse of the eclipse right at 1 p.m. 1.02 p.m., the moment eagerly awaited by thousands who've traveled from the far corners of the U.S. to witness this breathtaking view. I saw a uh, almost total uh, solar eclipse about 40 years ago on Cape Cod. And it was so profound and so moving that uh, from a uh, perspective of 40 years later, uh, I'm curious to see if it, it touches me the same way. I think it'll be even more so. But just minutes before the total solar eclipse, it appeared Mother Nature wasn't working in our favor. I was just sitting there very disappointed that the clouds were going over and I thought it was just going to be a washout. In fact, it rained a couple of times and thought it was just going to be bad. Then during the final countdown to totality, the clouds parted and the crowds cheered. Everything went dark quickly and then it started to light up and everybody around me was screaming. It was, oh, I got shivers. Oh, it's incredible. I'll never forget it. Beyond the two minutes of totality here at the park, there was music, science demonstrations with NASA, and of course, science with Bill Nye the Science Guy. One word I would say, astronomical. And for the thousands who made the great American road trip to the Cornhusker State, it'll be a day not soon forgotten. And I love it so much that I'm probably going to be spoiled and become a chaser from now on. Megan Hahn, 3 News Now. And just about an hour ago, the parking lot here was still full of people as they were waiting to load onto buses. I can tell you now, looking around, the parking lot has cleared. The buses are gone. So we do understand there might still be backup situations in Beatrice as people are getting into their cars because, again, no one could park here. They had to shuttle here from different parts of Beatrice and around this area. So there are some traffic concerns in the area. People were waiting two hours for those shuttle buses, but they were waiting with smiles on their faces and they were waiting with food truck food in hand. So they were enjoying the experience. Yeah.